Right, in this video I'm going to style up the pages using a bit of CSS, just tweaking things in the footer. So you can see when you create um, a page or a site inside of Notion, Super done this as well, you had to put any external pages, you had to hide at the bottom and then you can see here, um, you then have to hide this toggle menu with CSS, okay? So that's the way you can hide it so it doesn't appear on the front end of the site. If I open up Notion um, and we go to the home page, you'll see all those pages just like they're on Popsy. They're all tucked away inside a toggle menu just so it's clean and tidy. You can see these are my pages here. Things like thank you pages, thank for opting in, email confirmed, all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do, if I open up this on, um, on the web, so on, actually on the domain, on the site, we can see how it looks. And then I'm gonna do some CSS tweaking just to get some stuff hidden. And you can see, so th I think these images are actually too big. And I think these ones, are, some of these are too big as well. The reason I can, uh, not click on them, but if I go open image and new tab, we do that. I think they're way too big. They're like thousands. There you go. That's that big. So uh, it doesn't show me the size. Somewhere it will show me the size. That's too big. You can see I only need it to be literally, I don't know, <clears throat> 70 pixels square there. So I need to fix all those. So here I am down here, the CSS. Let me move my head up here. I want to hide this CSS. So what we can do is go inspect element. So using um, just a simple display none CSS, we're gonna hide that. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here. That allows me to select the area on the site that I want, which in a minute it will. Let's go like that. So I want that look, just that pages. And if I come down here, we can see that's the summary. There's the details. This is the space above. So this div class here is the space above, which is blank. So this one, details, notion toggle, um, notion block, I'll do is I click plus here. And I'm just going to write, so you can see it's built uh, the um, tag or the class. I'm just going to put display and then I'll type none like that. And you can see it then just disappears. So if I just uncheck this box, it'll appear here. You can see there it is. And if I check it, now all I do is I copy this code from here like so. So just copy that. And then I go back into Popsy and move my head over here now and then go custom code. So again, this is part of the pro um, the pro account. You need to have the paid account to be able to edit the styles. So let's go like that style, put that in and then end style. So this will be for all my other future CSS as well. We click save, gives me my max and power there. Now we click save. If we then click on this refresh icon up here, Scroll on down, we can see, look, Pages is now gone. If I go back to the main site, um, oh, it's already gone there. If I refresh it, it's gonna take a couple of minutes to cache, uh, clear the cache. What happens with any of these page builders, if you're using them, they all take a couple of minutes to sync from Notion. Notion runs off Amazon service, I think, so it pushes it to Amazon, then Popsy has to pull it from there and pull it from Notion. It's all doing this, so give it a couple of minutes to sync and it will eventually go, so that's that one. Next thing I wanna do is change this um, copyright message. So I want to do that. So right click, I want to change the copyright message and I want that to be just smaller, tinier font. So same process. I'm going to select it, which it is selected now. Um, you can see there it's using the font gray. So pretty sure that's above. So I want that one like that. And then I'm going to click on the plus symbol again to add, add the style. And then I want to go something like font size. Um, Let's just type 12 pixels. You can see it's just gone right down there to small. And I can use the, so from here I can just style that. I want it to be nice and small, like 12 will do. And then I'll take that. Again, get that piece of code. Head over to Popsy here, custom code, and put it just below that tag like so. Save. Um, if we refresh now, we might see it's gone down. See, look, now we've got a nice, small um, copyright message at the bottom. So what else? I might even do that for the footer links that are in here. So I could go into here. See, I've got all these different blocks. So I, if I go to here a second, like so, and if I don't already have a font size in here, I could probably add it. Let's just try this. I might, um, I might do a lot of, um, little tweaks afterward once, let's try 15 pixels. Okay, let you see it has, so let's reduce that down as well. So I might even make that a little bit smaller. 
just so that I had just I just wanted the footer to look a bit a little bit different and also change it up. Um, nothing's set in stone here. This is the most CSS I want to be doing. I don't want to be doing any any coding. I really want it to just look nice and clean and simple. And I want to have a little a few other pages that I use for sort of writing notes or publishing notes and things. So look, that's how I'm editing CSS um, in here now. The things like the top navigation, that's all controlled using the theme editor here on the left, custom theme. You can see I can adjust the logo, I've got the navigation bar, you can have it content width, which is the width of my content in Notion, but I can also set it to full width as well, so I can change just the navigation to full width. Um, and it also has things like content width, so it's um, quite nice when all these settings, you can change the background, the colors, you can edit all the fonts. Uh, these are call outs that you see here, so these are call outs in Notion, these two um, blocks and um, you can come down here and edit the call outs you can see down the bottom we've got call out cards this way you change the colors and the styling if you want to style those different so you can do all that with the um, advanced editor or the pro version of Popsy. Um, right so that's it so we've done the CSS tweaks to the footer they're a bit smaller I've still got to link those up um, next I'm gonna just point over my domain I'm probably gonna link up these two lead magnets I need to build a lead magnet for that one and then link this one up as well and then get the site pointed over. So that's how we do the little CSS tweaks. So you might find you're doing things like that on maybe some other um, images or if you want to change styles of images, you can do that with a pro editor. You might change some fonts, you might tweak some of your buttons, you might add shadows or things like that to buttons. Um, so there's a few other little CSS things you might do. If I do any, I'll take note of them and publish them here as well and you can follow along and see what I'm doing.